So how did I get into triple jump? So quite a few people have asked me, Naomi, how did you get into triple jump? And to be fair, I've answered a couple of times, but today I wanted the people who've been part of my journey to kind of say what their perspective is. What part did they play in me becoming a potential Olympian? So I arranged a couple of Zoom calls and yeah, here's my journey. Wow. I just get to Oh, <laughs> uh, well, as far as I can remember, you were doing... Um, you were doing sports at school. You were doing sports at school. You were running and you were quite fast at school. I think I wanted, you, I wanted to encourage you to do, to do a little bit more after school. So I remember asking you, um, do you want to continue with you know, your sports? So you said, yeah. So I said, should we just ring one um, athletics club and see if there's any spaces available? And you said, okay then. So I rang, if you remember rightly, and um, they said, yeah, there's, there's spaces available. Can you come today? I remember every single year saying to your mum and parents evening, please take Naomi somewhere. Like do something with her. From like the very, very first lesson that I had with you, it was so obvious that you had this amazing talent but you were like Bambi on ice that girl has some athletic ability but man she's a terrible runner <laughs> <laughs> and I think it was Yanni one of the spring coaches that said you know you're okay but you run like a, like a chicken or something um, so I saw the potential there was a lot of potential there you had a lot of speed but yeah you, you technically you didn't look you didn't look great that you were kind of like um, low-hanging fruit, so to speak. Somebody who was very talented um, that we could have actually, well, uh, we probably could have actually uh, brought you brought you into the fold, so to speak. And um, Eddie saw himself as like a bit of a deal maker. So he was like, you know, um, we've got this, there's this fantastic girl there and she's, she's coming down to do some relay training. So what I did is I asked uh, permission and I asked of um, Neil and Sue, and it was a, a coach called Anita. I think she was a main coach, a, lo a lovely lady. If I could organise the um, the fastest girls to um, come along for a training session to Trafford, so that obviously included um, yourself, who was obviously with another club at the time, uh, Ellie, and I think there were two other girls. And uh, I organised, managed to get all the contact details and, and got them down and got them Anita. And I think they came down and he had a few sessions from what I remember. And uh, he was starting to get organised. And what that did is he gave you a feel for our club. I, 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 and, and you obviously enjoyed it. You know, and I, I, I think I introduced you to, um, to Tom and other coaches and everything and your dad and, and, and obviously you know, your dad was an ex jumper himself, wasn't he? Yeah. And maybe because I had also done triple jumping mm -hmm. in my younger days, you know, I kind of like had a tiny bias uh, for you to do triple jump as well. So, you know, for me, it was like, mm, mm, this girl's good, you know, and she looks like a triple jumper. You know, this could be a great experiment. And, you know, then it transpired your dad was a triple jumper, so you knew what you were doing. and. I went back and looked at Power of Ten and seen that you'd done a triple jump for Salford and went, nine metres. <laughs> 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 Maybe she isn't that good. But, yeah, I think that year you ended up jumping 12, 60 or something like that. So, um, obviously, you caught up fairly quickly. I'm sure you just did something like maybe eight or nine metres, you know, without ever doing it before. And, you know, from then on, it was a case of, oh, okay, is this the event for you? Um, would you be better doing triple jump than, you know, uh, maybe doing the sprints? Um, I think you would have been a very accomplished sprinter. I don't, I don't think you would have been the best in the UK like you are at triple jump, but you would have certainly been a very, very, very good sprinter. Um, you know, your attitude, your application, your industry, um, everything that you actually bring to the table for triple jump, it, those attributes were there, you know, in the sprint training. I think Nathaniel was, that's, yeah, Nathaniel was playing football and he was, he was doing quite well with his football. And I think you also just needed a challenge, <laughs> something that will also challenge you to, 
to you know to move forward and you know to just to do something and i think what triple jump did was that it it gave you that challenge yeah. and i think from the very time you started you kind of like thought i'm just going to go for records i would say to any pe teacher out there who thinks that they've just even if it's just that one child don't give up pushing them to do something because you have proven that from literally from nothing we had nothing at school and look at where you are you're on the on the verge of being an olympian and that is just it's like you're my greatest teaching achievement ever <laughs> and absolutely phenomenal so anybody out there that's got children that just show a little whatever sport it is a little bit of talent invest a little bit of time invest a little bit of energy and encourage them to do as much as they possibly can and look at what they can achieve there's been a lot of people who have you know helped along the way uh, without them how would you be where you are now so obviously we have to give thanks to everyone who's been involved from the very beginning from the school teachers PE teachers um, your, obviously your coaches um, everyone your, your agents everyone who's been involved through your journey you know we're really really grateful and happy you know. <laughs> I think it's really important to acknowledge the people who've helped us to get on this journey. You couldn't really do it without them. Parents, PE teachers, friends of your friends and parents of friends and whoever, coaches, everybody has played a part in this journey. I hope you've really enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to the Team GB channels and follow me on Instagram. Go on, Neil McBeater. Go on, give us a follow. Why not?